today I'm reviewing Open Acrylics by Golden. I'll tell you everything you need to know about them. I even did a drawing time test and comparison with regular acrylic paints. And I also tested them with a landscape painting. Let's do it. So they're called open acrylics and they're a slow drying type of acrylic paints. I picked up seven colors, red, blue, yellow, green, purple, Payne's gray, and a mixing white. I also picked up a bottle of golden open thinner, which is meant to dilute the specific type of paint. They come in a 59 milliliter paint tube and they're about a dollar or two less than regular acrylic paint. Depending on what pigment, the price varies between $11 and $24. Some pigments are super expensive, like the cobalt blue that I picked was, I think, $22, but a lot of them are around $12, Canadian that is. The consistency of this paint is softer than heavy body paint and it's very silky and very nice to use. You can use water to dilute these paints, but in order to preserve the slow drying properties of the paints, it's better to use Golden's open mediums. Those are meant for this type of paint. As I've said, I picked up a bottle of open thinner to dilute the paint, thinking I could do glazes with them, as in put a lot of thinner and just a little dot of paint to create a translucent type of glaze. But that was a mistake. This paint thinner is not meant for that. It can only be used in a proportion of 25%. So 25% thinner to 75% paint. It's basically the same rule as if I were to use water, except that the paint thinner is kind of like syrupy. It's very slick, not sticky, but it's thicker than water. What I should have bought was the open matte medium, which can be used in any proportion. I could have a bunch of medium and just a little dot of paint to create the glazes I was talking about, or use it in a smaller proportion, just like paint thinner. So the open thinner doesn't have polymer. The open medium has polymer. Polymer is the thing that makes acrylic super durable and kind of like plasticky when it dries. I would have preferred the medium, just so you know. In the second row of my swatches, you'll see me try to do that glaze or translucent mix using the thinner. That was a mistake I just didn't know at that time. And glazes are very useful in many situations to create shadows, so to see an overlay of a darker colors, but still see whatever's underneath. To paint different fabrics or a glass texture, glazes are fun to play with. These are meant to be used in very thin layer, no more than one to two millimeters to make sure that they dry properly. They're not meant to be used for thick layers and to create texture. When you need super blended colors or when you want to put a lot of details in a subject matter, they're the ideal paint for the job. The beauty of it though is that they can be mixed with any regular acrylic paint. Depending on the proportion of the mix, it will shorten the drying time so it could be an advantage depending on what you need. And even when they're mixed with regular acrylic paint, it's better to keep to thin layers, one to two millimeters. The colors are super vibrant. The texture is very soft and silky. It glides on the canvas very well. They're slower to dry on the canvas, but also on the paint palette. So it gives ample time to remix colors if needed. And there's less paint waste in that way. Now for the drying test, I wanted to know how long it took for them to dry, how extended the drying time was, and also to compare them to regular acrylic. What was the difference there? The findings are extreme. I didn't think there would be such a big difference in drying time. As I was putting my swatches on paper, I started a timer. After 5-10 minutes, it was still completely wet. After 15 minutes, it was still wet. After 20 minutes, it was still wet. So I opened a regular uh, acrylic paint tube, started those swatches, and then I found out that even after 30 minutes, the paint was still wet. And what I realized was that the regular acrylic paint were dry after 10 minutes, except for the red, which I put a thicker layer. That was my mistake. But even that thick red of regular acrylic paint was drying and it became very sticky and gummy as it was drying and that was after 10 minutes compared to the open acrylic paints which were 30 minutes on paper at that time and they were still workable movable but in a different type of way they were kind of silky and still blendable instead of being crumbly and gummy 
very very interesting so as far as drying time for the open acrylic paints it depends how thick the layer of paint is obviously if it's a super super thin layer after about an hour ish it'll feel dry to the touch but they can be reactivated with a little bit of that open medium you just put a bit of open medium on them and they could be fully reactivated until up to I think 10 or 12 hours they can be reactivated that's a long time that's pretty amazing for my swatches I put a super super thin layer and after a few hours they were dry the next day they were fully fully dried but generally speaking these open acrylic paints stay workable at least 10 times longer than regular acrylic paints 10 times longer if you want to see them in action go watch this video i painted a sunset landscape using open acrylics i love them i'm gonna use them all the time thanks for watching